Yeah, I mean, I don't care. I mean, first of all, he's an ex for a reason. And the second of all, I'm getting married. So I don't really care about him anyway. So yeah, so let's go for it. I mean, in all honesty, I, I'm i getting married. I don't give a fuck. Do you know what I'm saying? Just know that you and that ex are not coming to that wedding. On gang, do you get it? As my boy, don't think you're coming, you're going to bring my ex as plus one. Are like, you fucking dumb? Nah. Because you know what it is? Apart from the fact that I don't care, it raises too many questions. That's why I say I don't care, do you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, raw, you didn't just start liking each other yesterday and you didn't just start wanna fuck tomorrow, do you get it? So, are you, fam, I'll start looking at my boy like, are you the reason why we broke up? Do you get it? I'll start looking at you very, very funny. But, again, I'm a fucking man. I've put a ring on my woman's finger. I'm getting married. I've gone very far ahead. And I've obviously left that bitch for a reason. Well, I mean, it could have been good terms. But for the sake of the question, she's coming to date my boy. So I definitely left that bitch for a reason. Do you get? Fuck them. Fuck them both. Do you get me? But I'm getting married. I need adults around me. Do you get me? This small boy. Get out. That's my ex. And do you know about my ex? As my boy, you knew the hell I went through with my ex, if I caused it, if I didn't cause it, um, and you have now decided that you like how my ex is, she could have changed. If she has changed and you guys want to go for it, go for it. I'm getting married. I'm getting married. <laughs> this ain't about you. It's about me. You guys want to do what you're doing. Do your thing, but I'm getting married today. <laughs> That's my life. I'm happy because I'm married this one. Not married this one. I'm married this one. <laughs> Hit me, so. Yes and no. So I think it depends on what kind of an ex it was. And regardless of before even that, like, has she spoken to me about it? Like, has she come to me and been like, yo, babe, um, I'm feeling your ex. We're talking. It's not like she's asking me for permission, but just to give me a heads up so that I'm not finding out, you know, down the line. Maybe there's a reason why me and him broke up. That wasn't anything bad and it was just timing. Uh, so wrong, wrong place in time for me and him, but for them two, it works out. Or maybe the reason why we broke up was something really bad and I don't want her to get involved in that. Like I can advise. She doesn't have to listen, but I can advise you to be like, no, this is my experience. Maybe as a person, he's changed and he's outgrown that, but you should know so that if you start to see the warning signs, dip. Um, but if I'm about to get married and you're telling me, um, it means I've, I've gone past it. Do you know what I mean? I've, I've outgrown that part of my life. That was a season and now I'm moving into my lifetime. So I just think the com conversation needs to be had before it even gets to a point where they start getting serious enough to date. Hmm. How close are we with this girl? <laughs> um, no. No. My so my friend dating my ex. <sighs> Listen, I would feel like she was like looking at him already a certain way when we're still together. And now that we're not together anymore, you're like, this is my chance. Let me get with this guy. So if you're my friend and you're thinking of dating my ex, you were never my friend, to be fair. That's disrespectful. You're like my sister. We don't do them things here. <laughs> no. You dating my ex. Yeah, but what if it was your ex? You know we had this conversation. Do we not have to be married?